Hi, welcome to Lunchtime with Laura. Before we get started with answering this week's questions, which are about foods which are um, which are safe, really, in fitting with this week's theme. Um, but before we get started, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Laura Ward. I'm the uh, owner and pet nutritionist behind Charlie's Reward in Pet Nutrition. And Lunchtime with Laura is one of the ways in which I am helping pet parents to understand their dog's nutrition. So working with with pet owners is a big part of what I do in order to help everybody to have the the knowledge that they need to remove the the stress and worry around understanding their dog's nutrition and to essentially as the end goal improve the health of our dogs um so that's what we're here for um i also work directly with pet parents one to one on particular uh, pet parent problems that they might be experiencing with their dog which are diet related so if that relates to you, then do book in your uh, pet parent problem solving uh, session because um, it'd be great to hear from you. So I hope that you're enjoying Dog Food Demystified and that it's proving to be a great resource for you for understanding your, your dog's food and nutrition. If there's anything that you would like to see here that we haven't been covering so far, then do let me know. Um, it's always good to know what it is that you'd like to see. Um, and yes, um, Charlie's Reward and Pet Nutrition um, is here as a, a service for pet parents to improve your knowledge around dog food and nutrition and to help you um, understand how to make the best choices for for your dog to keep them happy and healthy for as long as we can. Um, so as I said, I'm the pet nutritionist behind Charlie's Reward and Pet Nutrition. Um, I've worked in the pet food industry for eight years now in uh, helping businesses to develop new uh, dog food and cat food products um, as well as working in the vitamin and mineral ingredient side of things. Um, so if you have any any questions, then then do get in touch. I'm always happy to to help. So um, let's crack on with answering our questions for lunchtime with Laura. So this week, the questions which I have, the first one is, um, you said about unsafe foods for dogs this week, but is it OK to feed human leftovers to dogs? Um, well, this really depends on what the leftovers are. If it's something like steamed or boiled vegetables, then there's apart from onions, um, then there's no no issue here. Um, we everything that you're looking to feed your dog as leftovers you should look through the um what can't I feed my dog um document that we've shared this week to check that there's nothing in your leftovers from that list which could be a problem for them so in our human food things like onions and garlic um can be some of the main things that can um, cause an issue for them yeah, so generally um, steamed or boiled vegetables are safe to, to give our pets. But then um, I guess the more um, complicated the dish, then the less likely it is that it's going to be suitable for them. So if you're looking at things like um, curries and uh, rich sauces and that kind of thing, then steer clear of those because um, they're either including things which aren't good for them or they're rich um, and have things like um, 
dairy or lots of spices which are going to upset your dog's digestion so best steer clear of anything like that if you have um meat which has been um say boiled or grilled um then that's safe to to share with your dog but if it's something for instance um that's been roasted or fried then again that fat content isn't great for for your dogs especially for any which are sensitive to fat content so for instance if they have um a susceptibility to pancreatitis or that kind of thing and then it's best to avoid those those meats which have been cooked in fats um for other dogs as well if um if meats have been cooked in fats for instance if they've been roasted it can make them it can make them quite rich to digest and again that can cause an upset tummy um so yeah again best to avoid those so in summary if your leftovers are quite um basic and have been cooked simply without additional ingredients or fat sources um, and it's essentially a, a vegetable or lean meat source then that's safe to to share with your dog um but don't um don't be tempted to to give them leftover uh, sources and um more complicated meals because that's very likely to upset their tummy even if it hasn't got unsafe foods in there something to also bear in mind is you should never share cooked bones with your dog um or bones that have been removed from from meat you've been cooking um once bones have been cooked they become very brittle and they very easily splinter and it can puncture your dog's digestive tract so um that's an always a a no um in terms of cooked bones and so moving on to our next question is there a safe amount of chocolate which is okay to feed dogs so my answer here is no Um, You should never share chocolate, human chocolate, with your dog. Um, Chocolate contains a substance called theobromine, which us humans can can break down and our dogs can't, so it becomes toxic to them. So the, the higher the cocoa content, the more toxic it is to our dogs. So um, dark chocolate, cooking chocolate, cocoa powder are the most toxic and then milk chocolate is less so and white chocolate less so again um so then the the less the less cocoa in something the safer it is but there there really is no no safe quantity um to feed dogs it's never never a good idea to feed chocolate to dogs um and It's worth bearing in mind as well that different dogs have different sensitivities to how well they can cope with um, chocolate and theobromine. So some dogs, you know, you might have, they might have had chocolate before or um, had come into contact with it and been fine. But feeding that same amount of chocolate to another dog, even of the same size, um, could put them in, in a you know a hospitalized state so it's really never worth the risk stick to um keeping those treats for yourselves and um sharing more more suitable or dog specific treats with them um so they're the questions we've got today i hope that this week's um this week's document that we've been sharing of what foods can't I feed my dog has been really useful for you to understand which foods are those ones which are unsafe or toxic and which you should be steering clear of um for your um your dog safety um yes next week we'll be talking about um fussy eating so if that's something that you're 
uh, yeah, yeah, you sugar with with your dog, then definitely keep your eyes out for that one. And then in regards to what's happening in Dog Food Demystified, um, don't forget we've got our competition running. So we're giving away an enrichment bundle, which uh, so far it has a, a licky mat, a Kong, some bouncy balls, um, what else? Pooch butter, fur boost. Um, but we're, yes, we'll be adding to that as well. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to enter. And for everybody that you invite to Dog Food Demystified that joins our group, you have um, an entry into the competition. So you could end up with a huger number of entries if you if you invite lots lots of uh, friends and family. So yes, be sure not to miss out on that one. Then what else? We have our webinar, which um, is now is now where launched. So there are currently early bird tickets available. So make sure not to miss out on that one. The webinar is going ahead on the 11th of October. Um, there are still early bird tickets available for that. So do check that out. It is um, what diet is best for my dog. And I will be um, guiding you through our Understanding My Dog's Nutrition webinar. Um, it's really interactive. There are lots of activities to practice what we learn um, and we go through a huge amount of topics. So it's um, it's a really, really useful one for you to understand more about the basics of how to keep your dogs um, healthy and to know what diet suits them. Um, if you want any more information on that, then do get in touch and I'll be I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, and then the other one to mention is our Podgy Pooches programme. So this is launched now and we're looking for some pet owners, some dog owners to join us on this. So if your dog is a bit podgy um, and you're not sure how to um, get them back to their healthy weight, um, then it's definitely one to explore. So you can join uh, a Podgy Pooches call um, for us to explain more about the the programme and different options. Um, so yes, do do make sure to check that out. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you very much for joining me for Lunchtime with Laura and keep sending in your questions and I will see you next week. Bye.